All right, welcome to our mindfulness session led by Trader Bianca. Uh, we'll go ahead and get started. I don't have anything to start with, Bianca, so I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to you and let you get started. Okay, great. So um, today, uh, I wanted to start us off by talking a little bit about um, uh, the breath, and um, and then we're going to do some um, breathing exercise. Um, but I want to specifically talk about this aspect of um, breathing, where we um, increase the length of the exhale versus the inhale in order to um, stimulate the vagus nerve to um, activate the parasympathetic nervous system, which is our rest and digest nervous system, versus our sympathetic nervous system, which is our fight, flight, freeze type of um, uh, response. And Unfortunately, most of us spend way too much time in the uh, sympathetic nervous system. So by using breathing techniques that focus on lengthening the exhalation, we can sort of bring ourselves back to the parasympathetic nervous system and you know increase that effect of um, resting and, and relaxing and things like that. So the vagus nerve um, is the main nerve of the parasympathetic nervous system and it controls all our involuntary, um, not all, but um, many involuntary uh, functions of the body mm -hmm. such as digestion, heart rate, mm -hmm. immune system, things like that. So things that you can't consciously control. So that's what the, the vagus nerve is in charge of. So by um, stimulating it, we can bring ourselves into the parasympathetic nervous system and relax. So um, as always, we're going to sit quietly, um, comfortably, whatever that, whatever's best, whatever but works best for you if you need to support your back. If you have back issues, I would strongly recommend that so that you don't get distracted by any pain in your back. But, um, so sit comfortably, relax, and then I would invite you to close your eyes and start breathing normally, whatever feels unforced and comfortable to you. So we're breathing in and out through the nose. Visualize the breath as a circular movement so there's no stopping at the top or bottom it connects smoothly to each other Let's do a quick body scan, starting with the feet.
move up towards the ankles. float up into your belly, slowly moving up into the chest, into your shoulders. fingertips reversing direction moving up the arms again into the throat and the neck and to the top of the head If you can become, if you can let your awareness be in all parts of your body at the same time. Become aware of any areas of tension, any holding you might experience. judgment, just let it release. And from here, we're going to start inhaling to the count of four and exhaling to the count of eight. You can, if it becomes uncomfortable at any point, you can change the um, numbers. You can inhale to a count of three, exhale to a count of five or three and six, whatever feels most relaxed. But we continue to make that movement, that movement of our breath very smooth and circular just extending the length of the exhale.
continue to breathe in on the count of four. Exhale to the count of eight. Continue to breathe normally from here as we start to go into a deeper meditation practice. Start to notice any thoughts that might be floating to the surface. thoughts as icebergs. The thought is what you see above the surface of the water. And beneath the surface, there is a much larger part, probably an emotion or a few emotions. For example, you're thinking about some long to-do list that you have and that you're feeling overwhelmed by that to-do list and that you're never going to get it done, then the emotion below the surface of the thought is anxiety or guilt. Try to connect with the emotions that are beneath your thoughts. See if you can name the emotions to yourself. Resist the temptation to get lost in a story here. So it's 
simply about observing the emotions that underlie thoughts. And sometimes there can be multiple emotions that coexist around a particular thought. And every time a thought arises, and if a new thought arises, try to name the emotion beneath it. there aren't any new emotions being revealed to you. Try to see if you can feel where these emotions are living in your body. And if any other thoughts or emotions pop up, don't worry about it, they always do. can either include them or don't worry about them for now. So the act of noticing where our emotions live in our body is difficult and it takes some practice so I would ask you to be patient with yourself as many of us are not used to taking note of what we're feeling in our bodies unless it's some form of pain or, or an injury One thing to look for might be a kind of tingling sensation or tightness. Sometimes emotions show up as some kind of a fluttery feeling or clenching. In some cases, you might actually feel some physical pain. Try going through your body slowly, part by part. Keep it as simple as possible. Are you maybe noticing any sensation of emotion in your head, neck, or throat area? Emotions might show up in your chest, upper back, or the space around your heart. Sometimes emotions can manifest as pain in your shoulders or your upper arms or your hands. The stomach area is one most people are familiar with for feeling some kind of emotion. So 
if you notice any feelings in any of these places, observe them, but don't interact with them. Note them, make note of them, but don't try to change them. We're only observing them. Remain compassionate with yourself for anything that might come up. If we are alive, because we are alive, we are feeling them in our physical body. And if we've been busy, preoccupied, with a lot of other stuff, as most people are. You may not have noticed these feelings in your body, manifesting in your body in some way. We may also not want to experience these emotions. See if you can just allow those feelings to just be there. Imagine that you would just observe and pull up a chair next to your emotion, next to your fluttering sensation, your clenching sensation, whatever it is, and just experience it without judgment, without attachment. Sometimes emotions that come up in this way can be very intense and might cause some reaction of fear and that's also very natural. But if something feels too intense or jarring and it doesn't feel safe at this moment, just let it go for now.
Notice if there is a message your body or self needs to hear right now. Some examples of this might be, it's safe to feel this. Or you're doing your best in this moment. If you have a message, you can place a hand gently on your chest or stomach and repeat the message quietly to yourself. Once you start shift, noticing a shift, gently let it go. You might receive several messages for different emotions. And you can repeat this with as many feelings as you like. Slowly bring yourself back to the present moment. Open your eyes. Take a couple of deep breaths. And there we are. And 
Welcome back. You guys still with me? What's that? Can you hear me, Bianca? Oh yeah, you know what? I just realized... <laughs> I just realized why that happened last time too, and you know, I, I just figured out why. Because I mute the music, and because when I mute the music, I also mute everything else. <laughs> ah, okay. So silly. I, but yeah, now, now I just figured it out. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. That was great. Great. Yeah. Did you like that one? I did. Yeah, that's that's uh, that can be a, can be challenging, you know, to. Um, and it, it might take a few times of doing this to sort of allow yourself to do it. When I, I, I feel like I almost get more out of it when I re, re-listen to the recording as well. Yeah, because then you kind of know what's coming, right? And you kind of, you can already prepare yourself for it. Yeah, and I usually do it when I'm a little in, I don't know, more of a, not relaxed state, but in a... Uh, I don't know. I know I'm not going to have to talk afterwards or do anything. <laughs> yeah, you know, actually, I love doing this kind of stuff just after waking up. Yeah. Because you're sort of in that half sleep state still. Right. But you're awake. And it's like, it's, it's a lot easier that way, I think. Agreed. I love that too. Yeah. I agree. Awesome. Well, thank you very much. Appreciate yeah, you doing this. Yeah, thanks for coming. All right. Sounds good. And we will, I've, I've got my kids start school again. And, and so my aftermarket days are limited, but I'm going to, I'll look at my schedule and connect with you and we'll figure out our next date. Sounds great. All right. Take care. Have a good right. evening. You too. Bye. Bye.